Oh, there's a dude outside with a knife. Hello. Oh, no, no, no. Booty Bum Pals 1952. Booty Bum Pals. Okay. You're wrong. You're wrong. My girlfriend is not dead. She's alive and well. You, I'm not your friend anymore. Hello and welcome to Bunkum. My name's Anthony and today we're playing a new game called Never Song. Um, it was released back in May of this year and I had a quick look at it. It looked rather interesting so I thought we'd give it a whirl. Um, it reminded me quite a bit of some of the games that we've played, played recently like uh, little, Very Little Nightmares and um, Inside. Um, because of the sort of more macabre tone within the game. Um, and as you can see by this uh, splash screen already, it's quite that, that, that dark uh, looking game, which I absolutely love. And a, graf a graphical style that I'm, I'm quite fond of as well. So, without further ado, I think we should uh, get cracking and see what we need to do with this little gem. Right, so we've got a brand new one. Let's go for it. So I downloaded this one off of uh, Apple Arcade. Uh, so it's not a game that's uh, available on the regular uh, Apple App Store. Um, so because I've got obviously the subscription, I thought I'd give this a whirl. Never Song is a moving story of loss and hope. It contains themes including traumatic death that some may find emotionally upsetting. To those who suffer, know that you are not alone. Please ask for help very wise words once upon a time there was a boy an orphan without a single toy his name was Pete his world was grey until he found a friend one day it was no normal friend he'd found she was but the prettiest girl in town. From that day on, the summer bore adventures every single morn. Her name was Wren, so young and gay. She even had a small piano she'd play. From sharps and flats to middle C, she taught Pete to play and read. But on one fateful evening they when looking for some place to play. Pete and Wren stumbled through a door onto an abandoned asylum floor. And from the shadows, a face of white snatched poor Wren out of sight. Pete was not like Wren at all. He was timid, scared, and small. And this was his last farewell, for Pete, into a coma, fell. Ooh. Liking the sound of this. Not liking the picture above the fireplace. <laughs> right, so I'm guessing this is going to be um, another puzzle again. Um... As you can see, it's very much in the same vein as, um, oh, I've got to, so I've got to actually press on him and then use the uh, sort of the directional pad. Uh, yeah, it's very similar to the theme or, or, or style uh, 2D uh, puzzler to uh, inside, but obviously a bit more color to it in this instance. Has that done anything? I don't think it has. Unless it does something else somewhere else. Do I do anything else? Can I... I can jump on there. I just want to try and exp move off to the right, please. Oh. 
finding the controls a little bit tricky. Stop jumping. Now you can jump. Jump. Right, so I can't. I'm finding the controls a little bit annoying already. Oh, I want to try and jump onto that fireplace it'll, if it'll let me. Up. Come on, off there, please. Jump. Right, so I can't. It doesn't seem like. Right, please. It doesn't seem like I can jump off in at an angle. I don't know whether that's right or whether I'm doing something. Ju I want you to walk. Stop jumping. Stop jumping. Stop jumping. Stop jumping! Oh, this is going to annoy me. <laughs> Stop jumping! Right. Oh. Well, it's a good job I did jump on that occasion. I didn't actually mean to. I thought I'd need to do something with a, a crank or something like that. Check voicemail. Okay. So that's the second door that we've come across that has a button on it that we can press. Why, I do not know. What's this say across the top? Oh, that was the introduction. A game by Serenity Forge and Atmos Games. It's very sprightly. Oh, so I can't do anything with that. Uh, jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. How do I... Why won't it jump? Thank you. Yeah, the, the, the controls are a little bit funny in this. I'm not sure I like them. Developed by Eric Coburn. What's this? Dr. Smile. <laughs> he doesn't look like a very smiley chap, if I'm brutally honest. He looks a little bit... Um, evil, should I say? A portrait, the word smile, is scratched into the parchment. Okay. Did I miss anything else? I was just... Pottering along. No, please just walk. Right, jump. Ooh. Oh, we're back here. Ooh, there's a dude outside with a knife. Hello. It's raining out by the looks of things. Did you want a coat or an umbrella? You don't look very happy. Are your teeth chattering? Is that why you're looking like that? Not sure. Right, move, please, chap. Oh, there he is again. Believe. Right, I'm just going to go off to the left again. Because there was that other door that we could interact with. Oh, it's open this time. Oh, well, it was. What's these? They squelch. Can I jump on those? I'm not... So the jumping mechanic's a bit odd, because I'm swiping up at the moment to try and jump. Ooh, okay. Let's try that again. Jump. I'm not sure <laughs> what that's all about, if I'm honest. Uh, okay, so if we go back over here and jump on this little area again... I think I'm slowly getting to grips with the controls, but it's not great. Does that just say the? No. Check voicemail. So that's done nothing else. Is these th weird things on the floor? What's that all about? They don't seem to do anything though. There's some on the ceilings. On the ceiling. These still aren't doing anything. Uh, unless they're supposed to spell something and I need to do them in a particular order. So. 
jump. Oh, did we go into this area before? Yeah, I'm getting confuddled already. More scratchy things. Is that going to change at all? No, it is the same. Oh, no, walk, please. Because I want to actually. Can I? I can't. It won't let you jump off to. Ah, I need to use two hands. I was just using the one. Oh, let me position the iPad a bit better. There we go. Oh, so the candles have toppled over. So things are subtly changing. So S. Oh, that's better. I can control things better now. There's more scary dudes outside. They must be all related, I think. They look a little bit similar. <laughs> or identical. Boom. Bing. I would do my usual joke of ground floor, toys, or homeware. But I won't do that because it's childish and mature. Is this going to change? No, that stays the same. Um, I'm going to try doing these doors in a slightly different order. So, lie. Who's lied? Ah. No. That didn't do anything. That didn't do anything. I'm going to press the one over here again. So that's not doing anything now. I'm not sure what the buttons on the doors are supposed to be. Do. I'm 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 getting a little bit confuddled. Truth be told. My M's open. Bong bong. Do I have to do it within a certain time scale? Oh. Ah, uh, okay. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not keen on you. So it changed. I can't do anything with that door now, though. Oh, that was a bit freaky deaky. So things are changing. Perhaps I'm not being observant enough or patient enough. Are there more of these blobby things? No, that's the same. Oh, oh, oh. Now it's different. I can't move, by the way. It won't let me do anything. Never song. Well, that was the longest introduction I've ever had to a game. Wake up. Wake up from your nightmare. That was a bit of a nightmare. I didn't enjoy that. It just went on for a little bit too long. And Whether it's just me doing something wrong, I have no way. Not a clue. Morning! Oh. Oh, no, that's wrong. Love me tender, love... Oh, no, it's too high. Love me tender, love me do. Do you like my singing? Is it beautiful? Right, I don't... There must be something else I can do with that. Ooh. 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 He is very jumpy. I wish I could jump like this in real life. He's like a human pogo stick. A cosy fireplace. Oh, save game. I like this. I'm glad I can do that. Booty Bum Pals 1952. Booty Bum Pals. Okay. Oh. Oh, crikey, didn't mean to do that. Right, let me jump across the... Oh, can I... I just want to get to the other side of the hallway. I want the other side, please. There we go. Oh, what's this? Is it a bed? A du your dusty mattress. Examine. Wren parents are so nice. Sleeping here, B. 
beats that coal, uh, that old orphanage. Uh, yeah, I'll start that again. Sleeping here beats that old orphanage, orphanage cot any day. I'm sure it does. Oops. Ha ha ha, vandal. Destroy. Right, so we can only go out. Ah, oh, how lovely and picturesque. Oh. What's... Ooh. What's this do? Is it, that's just supposed to be smoke. I didn't know whether it was something that could... Ooh. Oh, I didn't realise we could go left. I was just carrying on walking left. I want to go back the other way now. Because there's that big... Ball, orange bully thingy. Don't know what that was all about. So I want to just explore where I was initially before I do anything else. There's an umbrella on the wall. So I'm not sure whether umbrellas do something else. Can I do anything with these things? Is this just like a really weird toy? Right. Do we go left or right? I suppose while we're here, might as well go right now. Oh, they're closed up. Something written on the door in crayon. Read. This hotel is now the property of the exclusive Booty Bum Gang. It's now called Booty Bum Clubhouse. And you could suck a big one. <laughs> Plucky. That's, uh... Oh, I can't get it there yet. There's another vase. Ooh. I'm, I'm guessing we're supposed to be destroying all the vases that are strewn around the map. Hello! 1001, 1002, 1003. Oh, hey. Not another interruption. I'm in the middle of jumping to a billion, Pete. Sorry. You've been jumping that long. I told myself I need to jump to a billion five hundred fifty. It will make me feel amazing. Why? Um, same reason growing my hair out to one point seven three meters will make me feel like a god. That's why. The therapist asked me the same stupid question. <laughs> Mind your own business, dude. Okay, sorry so for asking. Can I help you? One thousand fifty. Considering Where's you're Ren? the reason everyone's parents have been missing all summer, I'd keep questions what? like that on the down low. How was that my fault? What have I done? You, you fainted in terror as Ren was kidnapped. So the grown-ups went to Black Fork Asylum to try and find her. Okay. They haven't been back since. Oh. It's all right, buddy. Just be careful asking stupid questions. No, I'm I sorry. I'm about to head out to look for my dad because of you. After oh. I finish counting, of course. Okay, bye. Friend. I'm gonna go through here. It's locked with some kind of gemstone padlock. Okay. Oh, there's another dude up there. Can we go in here? Another padlock. I have a feeling this might be... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what happened there? <laughs> I'm such a rebel. Demolishing the place. Right, I'm going to go up here first. Because I want to... Uh, hang on, I'm going to start off the far left first. I'll speak to you in a minute, chap. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh. Flip. That wasn't helpful. How do I get onto those things then? I'm guessing there there's something I can swing off. Perhaps this dude tells me. Hey, hey dude. We honestly didn't so. think you'd make it out of your coma, bro. Oh. What it's kind been of? a while since you were away. You really don't remember yeah. what happened? No, oh, sorry. I'm glad you're back. Too bad about Ren, though. I mean, mm -hmm. apparently she was, like, kidnapped right in front of your face, bro. The kids are saying you oh. got so scared you went into a coma. Don't think that's... I don't think being so scared that you go into a coma is don't a thing. Worry, I might be wrong. Judging. 
You were just too chicken to take care of her. The slug wasn't worth it to you. I get it. The slug? Nickel? We all call her the oh. slug. It started as the Red Wind Slugger. You know, because of her epic baseball bat. Ah, uh, of course. A lot, haven't you, bro? Not yeah. Sure she hit it, though. Oh, okay. Bye. So you're not going to help me fathom out how I use this thing. What do I do with this? Oh, this is going to annoy me. I don't know how... It, it doesn't give me any instructions on how to use those things. So I'm going to revisit that one in a moment. Bars. Ah. Oh, actually, there was a... Lock from the inside, okay. There was actually another door up here that I didn't check. Boom, boom, boom. When he jumps, it sounds like gunfire. <laughs> Locked from the inside, okay. That's fine. Oh, hang on. No, I don't I didn't mean to do that. I'm jumping on a pumpkin. A pumpkin does funky things when I jump on it. I don't know whether it was supposed to do anything. Oh, my puzzler. My puzzler is puzzling. There's things that we can't get hard uh, Can we do anything with that? No. Right, so I need to try and fathom out how on earth I can do this thing. So jump on it. No, that didn't work. Can somebody help? Because I'm confuddled. Right, I'll come back to that later. Because <laughs> there's this one here, right? What can I do with it? It doesn't seem to do anything apart from make a weird watery no noise. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. None at all. Not a sausage. Um, I'm hoping all this kind of makes sense at some point. What's I say? Red Wind Park. Okay. Oh, hello. Where's the plinky plonk music? Oh, I can't go any further. Oh, unless I can go down here. Now I'm down that way. Oh no, I can't. What do I do? Do I take a big run of the jump? No. Okay. So, um, I'm getting confused already. Help. <laughs> Some kind of guidance within the game would be helpful. Can I do anything with this at all? Does that make me jump higher? No. I don't think that does anything. What's this? What does it do? Do I press it? I don't know what these are for and what I'm supposed to do with it. Oh. I did a little bit more. Uh. Right, I'm going to go back to that one up there. Oh, another pot. Oh, that's the same one. Do they come back? Me vandalize the place. Did I try that door as well? Oh no, I didn't. This might help. Oh, haircut. I'd love a haircut, please. What's this say? A message is scribed on the mirror. C G C G B. I need to pen to write this down. Uh, I'm gonna take a screenshot. There we go. <laughs> So this, this must be what we need to, uh, to put onto that piano. So I might just go back to the house and tap that in. Remember our song, Pete? Ah, Ren. How did this get here? Oh. Okay. Do I do anything with that? Oh, so we collect the songs. Okay, thank you. Continue. Hello. You're finally awake. 
my heart is full. Oh, that's kind, isn't it? Have friends like that. I'm about to adventure out to the Spiderian sewer to look for the grown-ups. I'll admit, my tummy is filled with little butterflies. I'm not surprised. Where? Wow. Given you a serious case of retrograde amnesia. He did. He did. The sewer was our favorite spot last summer. Me, you, Ren, everyone. So I take it Preston is one of my best friends. Anyways, I think a grown-up might be down there. I heard it. Screaming. Golly, you don't want to know what I think, my curious friend. No, I do. That's why I asked, you silly boy. If you must know. It is my belief that. Well. Mm. Um, mm. That your girlfriend is likely dead. You're wrong. You're wrong. My girlfriend is not dead. She's alive and well. You. Oh, I'm not heart. your friend Excuse anymore. Me, just thinking the dreadful thought. Don't like it. Her epilepsy hasn't been great lately, Pete. Without her medication, I'm not sure how long she'll last. I'd help you find her, but I gotta go check out the Spiderian sewer first. Oh, all right. You're not much use. Let's go. Let's go and play the piano. Oh, I re really wish I could jump like that in real life. That would be ace. Alright, so let's go and play the piano. And see what mysteries it unlocks. Oh, let's save. Save. Thank you. Cool. Right, the piano. Right, I'm going to edit this so you don't see my photos. Right, so... Oh. Let's go down here, fella. Oh, I want to. I want to use the piano. So it's C G C G B. Ooh, a new area. Cool. Oh, it's a chest. Now we're talking. Wren's vintage baseball bat with cracked leather grip. The thing is begging for a good whacking. Cool. This may help us on our quest. In fact, I know it will. I'm going to save it again. Save! Thank you. Thank you. Let's go do some thwacking. I don't think there's anything those those pots... Right, can I... Can I thwack that? How do I get my... Ah. So... So if I do that... Cool. Uh, I can hit things. So, I don't know whether that's going to change anything else. Actually, I'm going to go off to the left first. Because that's a smaller area. And I'm keen to explore that. And if I don't get any further, I might try again tomorrow. I don't know how long I've been playing for so far. Ooh. What does that do? <laughs> What's that do? I have no idea what that's doing. But it's doing something. Um, okay, so that doesn't... Dilly squat. I'm going to try going off to the right this time and hitting a few things, like those big boxes that were in the way on the far right. Oh, we can beat up the pumpkins. <laughs> I don't know why that gives me so much joy and excitement, beating up pumpkins. Hit him. <laughs> it's, got, it's oddly satisfying, this. And we can trim the grass while we're at it. <laughs> Bats have a multitude of uses. I knew it. Oh, I knew it. Here we go. Something new. Something exciting. But see, I have no idea how long I've been playing for. Pete, it's 
It's me, oh. Bert. <gasps> you woke up. I'm locked uh. in this cage. That's what's up. I just saw Ren. <gasps> yeah, a man carried her down into the Spiderian sewer. Without her medication, I don't see her lasting much longer. Okay, quick, use that bat to get me out of the... Okay. Oops. So now we have a little friend. Oh, can we go in there? Hang on, let me have a look to the right. No, there's nothing there. Right. Also, cool. We've got a save point. Right then, guys. I am going to leave this here. I think it's it's we're making slow progress. It's definitely very different from what I was expecting. Um, I'm hoping that as we sort of progress, um, things will slot into place a little bit more easily. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to uh, upload one of these every other day and try and complete my memory of us. And I still need to do some more games. I mean, Itch.io. I've been neglecting Itch.io, but I've not really seen anything that's really kind of tickled my fancy. So I'll keep you posted on that as well, as and when. But as always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. Um, I look forward to seeing you soon. Laters.